know, aside from that, Dana, we've been saying all week, seas are going to be a little bit rough mm, tomorrow, tomorrow anyway. Yeah. Absolutely. That's actually an indirect impact from Hurricane Franklin, despite it staying well offshore from the lower 48 and most land masses. We still get a little bit of an impact here with just some added moisture in the atmosphere and the high surf, like you said, also an increase in rip currents possible mm. with that as well. But at least today we saw plenty of sunshine, actually more sunshine than a lot of us expected, which is always a welcome sight. A lot of those clouds actually stayed here to our south, just kind of touching the coast of down east Maine and we stayed pretty dry throughout the day as well but that pattern is going to start changing I'll talk about that in just a second but we did see a couple of showers up by the Canadian border up in the county but the closer you got to the coast plenty of sunshine and dry out as well and that allowed our temperatures to get up into the middle 70s still a little bit cool for this time of year especially along the down east coast where we did see a couple more clouds today but overall with the humidity felt like a pretty nice summer day out there but that pattern is going to start to shift as we go into overnight tonight we're going to see an increase in cloud cover ahead of a cold front that's going to move in for Wednesday. Now I mentioned that an indirect impact of Hurricane Franklin is that we do have some extra moisture in the atmosphere here so that when those showers begin to move in, it is a chance of localized flooding and some scattered thunderstorms going through tomorrow as well. Some of that heavier rain moving through around midday hitting the mid coast area and then after lunch is where it'll start to move in to eastern and northern Maine. Now we will have some more breaks in the clouds as we go into the evening hours, but we do see some more thunderstorms moving as well, so it won't be totally dry after we get that main batch of rain going through, but then this system moves out quick. Then once we get into Thursday and Friday, plenty of sunshine to be seen, and that'll go into the weekend and next week as well. Now, I mentioned Hurricane Franklin here has been downgraded to a Category 3, and this is going to stay what we call a fish storm. It's going to be away from any major land masses, but we do have the impacts of some high surf and the increased chance of rip currents. So the cold front that moves through, we get that extra moisture from Hurricane Franklin. That cold front keeps Franklin well offshore and then a strong high pressure system moves in for the last unofficial week of summer, giving us plenty of sunshine and a little warm out there as well. And then just tracking Adalia here, very far away from Maine, but expected to make landfall as a category three in the Big Bend of Florida. So if you're going to be out on the seas at all, two to six feet and a small craft advisory until Thursday at six. So our seven day forecast really speaks for itself here. We have that rain coming through on Wednesday where there is a chance of some localized flooding, but then the high pressure system that comes in is going to be a strong one and it'll last for a while too. Plenty of sunshine, temperatures getting into the lower 80s in some spots later in the week. It will be a little bit sticky, but for Labor Day, Brian and Amanda, it's going to be really nice. Honestly, it's going to feel like it's the end of summer. That's okay. good. We've needed it. Good Absolutely. Thank you, Dana.